Hey there, Ellen here, and those of you who know me a little bit know I have a recycled bottle cap business called Recaptivation, and I thought I'd take a second to share with you my art table and some ideas that I have that I'm really excited about, just about, um, you know, sustainability and our plastic consumption and ways that we can kind of help. So, yeah, fabulous, right? There's my art table. Huge mess, but it's always out here, so the kids or I can come whenever I'm inspired and start working on stuff. Now, all of these things that you see are things that people have collected for me. I haven't bought anything new. So, like, I go get nail polishes at um, the thrift store or at the senior center store, and I use it for some of the backgrounds. Now, these are some already poured ones. You can see I'm using different types of lids, and I'm starting to use some plastic lids, too, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, I'm going to be making a whole series of belts out of plastic bottle caps, and um, that it's going to be really fun. So I use punches, and I cut out different types of paper. So you can see it's, it's really super fun, and I'm always looking for people who are willing to donate little bling here and there to the cause, because like, my goal is that it's all recycled stuff. So I was at Pop Tech and just really, really overwhelmingly smitten by everything that was talked about at Pop Tech. It's an amazing conference, and I'll give you the link so you can look at the videos. But one of the things that really spoke to me in terms of my art was Chris Jordan's presentation. He's a really amazing photographer, and I'll put a link in here for him, too. He just got back from Midway Island and was talking a lot about the baby albatross um, that are dying, the albatross chicks, because the, you know, the mamas and dads are flying off to get, find food for them and picking colorful things out of the ocean, which just so happen to be plastic, bits of plastic. So they're dying from malnutrition, from suffocation and choking, from, it's just, it's so sad. So when you see them, Chris went to Midway Island and did some, took some photographs that he didn't alter at all. And as the, their bodies are decaying, all that's left is just piles and piles of plastic. And it struck me that there were so many plastic bottle caps in there, just from like soda pop or, or any kind of like the, the plastic. So I'm going to start a new line with recaptivation. I've already done a few things like ornaments and stuff with plastic, but I'm going to do, I'm going to make belts, I'm going to make whatever I can. And I've already gotten approval from some of the local elementary schools in town to put a drop box. Um, just to put a little flyer up to talk about what we can do. So this is a call out to all of you, my friends out there online. If you would please save all of your plastic bottle caps, any size, any shape, peanut butter jar lids, anything that you find that's plastic that, that's like, like a lid of something, um, I would be so grateful if you could save it. And I'm going to put my mailing address in here. Um, or actually, you can just ping me if you if you have stuff to mail to me, and I'll send you my mailing address. But I would just totally love it. And in exchange for you sending me a big bunch of plastic when a package arrives with plastic in it, I will send you um, one of the creations that I make. So you get a gift in return for saving your things. So please um, retweet this. Do whatever you can to help me out. I would so appreciate getting tons and tons of this so I can create huge amounts of stuff. I'm, I have great ideas. I'm really excited. So thanks. Bye.